All right, YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy, Dan Lefty. Um, I got a, I got a special bill for y'all guys, man. You feel me? This is a, this is a hash type of build. If you want to take them to the comp prime stage, you can. If you want to take them to the rec, you can. Even if you want to take them to the park, you can. This is a basic, basically, this is a three and D, uh, position. You know what I mean? If you just don't do nothing else but play defense and shoot threes, this is the build for you. Um, I just want to, I just want to start off by saying like. I don't go on YouTube and look at anybody else's build, all right? You know what I mean? I don't steal builds. I don't copy builds. So if by any chance you guys see how I set this up and it looked like somebody else's or whatever, hey, I don't know what to tell you, man. This is just off the dome. You feel me? This is just me trying to help you guys out. Or if you, even if you're not a subscriber, but you just come across this video, man, um, this would be a very useful build. Once again, I don't have VC, so I can't create these builds that I am making and putting on my channel, but if I did, I would. So let's just get right into it. You know what I mean? If you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, you know, all the, the whole lingo. And let's get right into it. So position is shooting guard, right? You're going to be playing off the ball. You're going to be playing hash, corner. You're not really going to be touching the ball other than shooting and passing. You feel me? Um, at least on offense. So um, you already know, always make them left-handed. And jersey number doesn't matter, but uh, let's give him something back. Okay, 50. All right. So for the height, I went 6'7". And then for the weight, I did 213, nothing crazy. And then the wingspan, I went down to 6'10". All right. I went to find body shape. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why the hell did I go 6'10 on a wingspan? This is the reason right here. To max out that three-pointer. Now, look, if you're playing comp pro-am, all right, or if you go into the rec with a full five and you go against a team and they go into a two three zone, you being the off guard ball, I mean, the off the off ball position, you being the shooting guard, you being that hash player, you start off with goal limitless range. Okay, there's no reason for you to have a 99 three ball simply because gold and limitless, I mean, gold and purple is you know, it's basically the same damn thing, right? But 93 it gives you a bet it gives you better shot animations and it's way more efficient and it's way more easier to hit than obviously silver limitless like the higher tiers you go up the better so this gives you the best opportunity so i went with a 90, uh, 93 three ball on this player and then also i went with an 85 mid range okay so you're not like you're you're shooting you should not be missing anything open and even sometimes you might you know get a little contesting your shot you feel me so this is why i went with the 610 wingspan for that 93 three ball for that gold limitless range you see you get the gold agent threes all your tier threes is gold 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 you feel me that's all you need all right so now let's go to the free throw i just put it to an 81 all right you don't need nothing high anything 80 and above is really good you don't need nothing else nothing crazy because at the end of the day it is free throw so you want to make those you feel me so you're already a threat already a 93 uh three-point shot you're driving dunk we went with an 80 so you could get those uh, off ones, quick drops, off two quick drops too. You get the easy, simple dunks. You get limitless takeover, uh, limitless takeoff on silver. You know what I mean? So you don't even have to be like, oh, well, all I'm doing is just spot up. No, you, if you get the ball and you're wide open, you go to the rack. You know what I mean? You get the cheesy dunks that don't, that barely get blocked. You know what I mean? Like, and you're six seven, so you you should be good to go. All right. So um, we're gonna go to the defense now. All right. 3 and D. Max out that perimeter defense. You get gold clamps, bro. You get gold clamps. If you want on this build, you could guard the best player on the other team and shut them down or make it hard for him. You know what I mean? Interior defense, I went with a 60. Why? Because uh, for my block, I went max. 78. 78 block. All right? You get a 78 block and you get a 60 interior defense. This is plentiful, bro. You're six seven. You could guard. You basically could guard one through five. If I'm being honest, you could guard one through four, and the five spot. It depends who it is. If you're going against like a seven three on defense, it might be a mismatch if he tries to back you down. But on offense, he can't even stop you. You know what I mean? So this is a pretty good build to start off with. Like I said, it's a three and D type of build combo guard. If you want to play the hash, you know what I'm saying. And you're you're not a liability on defense. Okay. And still, I went with a uh, I went with an eighty five. 85 still, you can rip people with that good enough. You get a silver glove, you get a silver interceptor. You know what I mean? Like, you're good to go on defense with this build, but I'm telling you. All right. I didn't touch the offensive rebound, but defense, defensive rebound, 
67. So as you guys can see, we have 20 defensive badges and we have 27 shooting badges off the rip. This is a 3 and D. This is a this is a Clay Thompson type of build, man. You feel me? Like I said, you could take him in the comp pro -am stage. You could take him in the park to play off ball and offense, and then on defense, you can guard the best player on 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 the other team. Um, in the rec, you could play hash. Like this is this is a really all around. This is a good build, bro. You don't need to do none of that dribbling. You don't need to be looking fancy or anything. You just this is the build where you just do your job. You get on the court, you shoot threes. And you play defense, you do your job. This build right here easily could average, I don't know, 20 points a game, like five assists, anywhere from three to four steals and like two blocks a game, bro. I'm dead serious. All right. So let's go to the playmaking real quick. So you want uh, the pass accuracy I gave. This build is a 75. You get to unlock the LeBron James pass style, probably the best pass style in the game. Um, so you're not going to be throwing those slow, you know, them slow passes, but it'll get there. All right. It'll get there. Ball handle, a 70. I gave him a 70 on this. Like I said, bro, this build is it's not for you to be freaking dribbling the ball and making it seem like you're Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying, or Trey Young or Steph Curry. That is not your job, bro. You didn't make this build to, to be that type of person, all right? So that's what the playmaking is looking like. Let's go to the physicals real quick. Uh, physicals, I gave him a 75 speed. I actually gave him a... a max acceleration i'm not gonna lie i give him max acceleration max strength okay when you're a defender you need to be strong you're gonna go against a smaller guard so when you bump into them with that uh that gold clamps you're rattling them you're making them stumble you're giving them no room the best way to stop a dribbler is to give him no room i'm telling you so if he tries to hit a step back on you like a, a kd step back or a freaking Kyrie Irving step back you're on that or even a james Harden, you're on that you want to give him no room no space Okay, vertical, I gave him a 67, nothing crazy, some light. And then stamina, I went all the way to a 94, okay? So now let's go up to the finishing. We're going to finish out with the finishing, actually. So close shot, we went with a 67, driving layup. We went with a 71, and then you stand and dunk, we max it out at 70. All right, so take a look at this build, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this build. This is the ultimate 3 and D build, bro. If you ask me, this is like a prime Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson can shoot from deep. That's, that's where the goal limitless range come in. And he in his prime, he was guarding the best player on the other team. 93 perimeter defense, gold clamps, 85 steel, uh, silver gloves, silver interceptor, gold challenger, bro. You feel me? You can't, you can't tell me that this is not a W build right here. You feel me? So let's click continue. Um, takeover, obviously, you only get two takeovers because this is what this build is for. These are his strengths. If I was you, uh, I would go limitless range first, and then I would do a perimeter badge drop. Click continue. Like I said, man, 3 and D, 2 guard, bro. 3 and D, 2 guard. This is just one of them builds where you just come on, you play your role, and you star in your role. You're a three-point shooter and a defensive player, bro. All in one. You feel me? You see the shades up there. OG Ananobi, Eddie Jones, and Mikael Bridges. Now, we know Mikael Bridges turned into a superstar. Um, but when he was in Phoenix, that was his role, 3 and D. And he did it really well. He's going to have to get paid for it. So let's go to um, to the badge setup, and then we're going to get up out of here, man. All right, so we're just going to skip past that. So let's go to, uh, first of all, Green Machine on um, Hall of Fame. And let's see what you could Oh could do claymore all right who cares okay so we're gonna core a limitless range of gold and then i would do blinders gold and agent three gold okay now if you're looking at this and you have i'm pretty sure you guys have extra badges if you want you can add the extra badges to your shooting and you could get gold dead eye as well so all your tier threes will be gold and you still have some hall of fame badges up here or if you don't want to do that, you can put it on volume shooter and just rock out like this. You know what I mean? This is pretty good. Playmaker, we're going to skip that just for the purpose of this video. Um, all right, so here we go. So what would I do here? What would I do here? Definitely put on anchor for sure. Pick dodger for sure. I heard ankle braces don't even work. So we're not even going to worry about that. Pogo stick. Mm, let's do off ball pass. Let's just do that just to unlock this thing. Okay, so now we're going to core challenger. We're going to get our gold clamps. And for glove, if 
if I were you, I would put some extra badges on defense as well. So I'll put like the plus three and I'll get six. And then I will have silver glove. You feel me? So you will see the defensive setup. I will have gold challenger, gold clamps, and silver glove with the extra badges. And then I will still have my anchor to make sure I get better block animations, especially from snatch blocks. Gold pick dodges for if I'm going against a smaller guard and he want to use unlimited screens. Don't worry, I got something for that. Off ball pest. You're not getting no backdoor cuts on me. You're not cutting on me anyway. That's that's a dub. You're not doing that. Okay. So let's go to the finishing now. Uh, do, 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 do. How I run it, I would do fearless finisher on bronze just because. And then you get giant slayer, you do acrobat, you do this. Okay. All right. And then, um, like I said, depending on how you want to, depending on how you want to do it, you could get you, you can use your extra badges, put on limitless takeoff on silver. You feel me? Or you could go back in the builder, and if you feel like I, you could have done better than what I did, then by all means, do what you got to do. The whole purpose of this build, though, is for three and D reasons. You're a hash sitter, okay? You sit on the hash. They want to play zone. You play zone. If they want to play man, you can move around off the ball, bro. Do what you got to do. Play like your Clay, your Clay Thompson is prime. You feel me? You are that guy. Playmaking. I mean, if you want, you could do a uh, quick first step on bronze. I would run dimer, to be honest. And mm, not for a general. I would run dimer. I'll do this. And then I'll do that. Okay? The playmaking and the finishing part, you don't really care about. But defense and shooting is your bread and butter. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the build that i brought to you guys man this is you could run this in any comp stage any rec stage you could go against any comp pro-am lineup any comp rec lineup for those dudes that be in the rec like your boy um and this is a, this is a hey this is a decent build bro you got good size you got a you're six seven you got max strength you got max defensive things you got max shooting things i mean let's get it bro this is the build you need to be making you feel me if you feel like you want to be in that comp pro -am stage but you don't want to be the ball handler you just want to play your role and play defense, this is the build for you, all right? I'm pretty sure there's other builds that may be better or maybe, you know, similar to what I just made on YouTube already, but I just cooked this up and I figured why not share it to you guys. So I'm going to leave you all with that. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Thank you guys for checking out my video, man. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, man, all right? All right.